So Andrew, I think uh, you can describe the anonymizer for us. Certainly, thanks, John. So uh, in this slide, the, the anonymizer, uh, th this is a, a high level view of uh, the, the datagrams that are created uh, as a function of the semantic data layer um, that we use to pass information from um, one shipping exchange to another. Um, and we use our, our data lake repository and our ingestion services, the way that we take all of that data and then republish to our members. And so as each, as each uh, shipping exchange and each member comes up online with, with, uh, with our semantic layer, then that communication occurs through, through our anonymizer and the, the clarity um, and real-time visibility into the data is obtained because that is, is being up, both updated and then rebroadcasted from our data lake to, to everyone uh, who, who, has, uh, who has joined our system. So it, the, the, the beauty of this is your systems remain as they are. There is no, no change necessary to, to your TMS and your internal systems. The data layer manages that transformation and that movement of data uh, through our data lake to, to both uh, your systems and all of the, the systems. Next slide, please. The, the, and th this is sort of the high level view of, of our entire system, but our member voice is, is sort of the, the step back. You see our, our data lake and our messaging anonymizer referenced on the right of the screen now. The, the center of our screen represents uh, our interface uh, to, to your membership and to managing all of the information about your company, uh, along with um, the, uh, the semantic data layer and the, and the layout of the, of the information and the protocols that you're using for us to then move those into our semantic data layer. So all of that happens through our, our membership portal. And uh, that's, that's something that you have access to, to manage and, and you can, uh, you know, you have access to uh, your sub companies and any, uh, any components uh, thereby. The, the, other ability that it gives you is it gives you the ability to both be part of the, the changes and updates and future that both the semantic data layer and the movement of data has throughout uh, the, the system because you are a member and you can contribute both ideas and uh, potential thoughts for updates to the way the system functions. And but using our governance-led model for membership, uh, those suggestions then go to committee um, and are reviewed. And in, in our working groups, the decisions are made as to where the extensions will be and how the standards will be updated uh, because those members are our membership making those, those decisions and choices. Uh, as you see from the bottom there, uh, the, our, our organization is, is an industry uh, organization in terms of we're, we're led by our membership and there are uh, equity opportunities available to be not only a member but also a shareholder in the in the organization. 